A very warm welcome to the London Business School Sloan Information Session, everyone. I'm Lorin Barrier. I'm the Recruitment and Admission Manager for the Sloan, and I'm very, very happy to spend some time helping you understand the Sloan at LBS. It's going to be about what, what we do, how we do it, and more crucially, what this could mean for you. And this is actually the last online info session for the Sloan for this year, so do listen carefully. So in terms of the format of this session, I will spend around 30 minutes unpacking the Sloan program at LBS, and then we want to spend the remainder of the session allowing you time to ask questions. So please type your question during the presentation, and I will answer as many as possible at the end. Also, with this map, um, it was to acknowledge everyone who's listening to us at the moment. Um, I believe we had someone from Japan, Russia, the US, um, India. So good morning, good, good afternoon, and good evening, everyone. Also, you know the little photo that you see in the uh, bottom left corner of that slide? That's actually where we are right now. And I would invite any of you who are traveling to London, either for holiday or for a work trip, to actually come and visit. We will be happy to take you around the campus. So in terms of the agenda, so this session will more specifically about talk about what is the Sloan program, who is that designed for, and what you can expect in terms of your development. We will finish with an overview of the admission process and how to prepare yourself as a candidate. But now, before we go any further, I would like to introduce you to my team. So, um, I hope you enjoy this exclusivity because we never show this picture to anyone, only for the online Sloan Info session. Um, so, you will find in the middle of this picture, Lyndon Selby. She's the Senior Recruitment and Admission Manager for the Sloan program. Then on the left-hand side, you have Cindy North, um, the Recruitment and Admission Officer. So, she will look after you in terms of all the admission processes. If any document is missing or anything like that, she will be the person to get in touch with you. And finally, on the right hand side, this is me, Lorene. I would also like to uh, acknowledge our fantastic recruitment event coordinator, Elodie, who helped to set up this information session today. And we also have our great um, recruitment and um, coordinator, sorry, Paula uh, Beckmage. Okay, now let's get to business. So what is the Sloan program? So in terms of um, the program itself, it's a unique offering in Europe and only three worldwide. So the program offers a transformational opportunity for established senior executives looking to accelerate their program to a position of institutional leadership. So this is an intense one-year program full-time, starting in January, um, and you will be able to develop a much deeper understanding of three key themes, strategy, leadership and change, and globalization. So as you can see, the program is divided in two main parts. You have the core courses and the electives. In terms of the 10 core courses that you will undertake from term one to term two, um, it will, all the, the materials, lectures, and guest speeches, projects, and et cetera, will run around these three key themes. So going into uh, a bit more depth, strategy is going to be about how you chart the future direction of your organization, how you implement your chosen strategy. Leadership and change, it's going to be about how you work as a leader, how you influence others to help you achieve your goals. And finally, globalization is about how to analyze and make sense of the major changes underway in the business environment, how to make the most of the global scope of business. So in addition to these three themes, the program will also provide you with an update or a review for some of you of the key building blocks of business, including finance, economics, and marketing. So some of the core courses will include executive leadership, um, understanding top management, managing people and organization, et cetera, et cetera. The courses are assessed in a mix of formats, including presentation, tests, group work, 
case study, etc. I would like to tell you a little bit about the international assignment, which is part of the core um, component of the program. This is a week-long international assignment, which allows Sloan Fellows to develop an understanding of a particular regional economy and the factors that contribute to its development and success. So during the international assignment, students visit a number of different companies, both national and multinational, explore concerns of local business leaders and are briefed by government representatives and sometimes even resident academics. So recent trips have explored the volatile economic environment in Argentina and the new dynamics of the Chinese economy in Shanghai. And for this year, the Sloan Fellow actually just got back from their international assignment, which was held in uh, Silicon Valley. And this will be the theme of the trip for the next two years. So it's organizational change in Silicon Valley. Now, if we look at the more flexible component of the program, which, which are the electives, um, it's really tailoring your approach and, and learning something new or really deepen your understanding of something you've already approached in the past. So the way you can choose your electives, uh, people sometimes have follow a professor that they really uh, find fascinating from the core courses or they got advice from the career center or the program team in relation to what, what they want to do after the program, um, and really develop that expertise in an area or explore a new sector. The independent project is part of the elective component. And as a Sloan Fellow, you have the opportunity to undertake a substantial project on a topic and with a company of your choosing. So that report is your opportunity to hone your strategic management skills whilst addressing a critical business issue. So most company sponsored Sloan Fellows complete a project on behalf of their own organization relating to their future role. Many Sloan Fellows also use the project to build expertise, reputation and networks within a sector that they are looking to move into post program. So examples have included a senior manager from the treasury function who did his project on global market penetration, stretching him from his technical financial role and giving him the insights that underpin his future general manager position. Another example is a Sloan from industry whose project related to financing biotech development and he's now consulting with firms in this space. I finally want to touch on the Entrepreneurship Summer School, the ESS. London Business School has phenomenal expertise in developing enterprises. Over 600 people are employed in LBS Ventures. This program is the equivalent to one elective credit and entry is by submitting a business idea. The best ideas get developed over the summer and then a winner is picked to present at the Angel 100 Forum in November. So Sloan on this program have developed ventures in luxury, luxury goods, sorry, and one has just opened a restaurant, which is a change from his previous career as an MD in a bank. Now, who is that program for? So I'm going to talk to you about the motivations that should be behind considering the Sloan program. You need to think about what your objectives are. And I guess I will start with career advancement, career transition. So you want to use the program to take the next step up in your career, be it a senior uh, executive into the boardroom, maybe transitioning from one industry sector to another, or even maybe shifting geographically. You might even think of setting up your own venture. You will look at different leadership styles and models while on this program, and that will really provide you with a safe environment to test which style and model might suit you best and find your own voice. The program will also allow you to build your network. There are over 39,000 alumni located over 150 countries for you to tap into and access. 
in addition to this, um, it will be a great opportunity to learn about yourself, your strengths, weaknesses, and gain confidence in the process. So the Sloan program is really about career acceleration, change management, leadership development, enhanced networks, and global perspective. Whatever the reason may be, the Sloan program will rapidly develop your strategic perspective, giving you the skills, knowledge, and confidence to take the next step. And throughout this journey, you will be assisted by the Career Center. So let's talk about what kind of um, assistance the Career Center will provide you with. So in the context of business education, London Business School works with people in different stages of their career. Our programs for the early career group, including Master in Management, Master in Finance, and MBA, have recruiters coming to campus specifically to meet students and have um, placement opportunities. A more experienced group, um, so our leadership programs, which include Executive MBA, Executive Executive MBA Global and the Sloan program, the Sloan being the most senior of all, have we have developed a package that reflects the level that they've reached. And this is very unique to LBS. So for the Sloan, the career management is broken into three phases. First term on reflection, second term on planning, and third term on action. It's a very structured work to help you develop your skill, knowledge, networks, and contact um, in order for you to take your career forward. So the phase one, which is reflection, is going to be about capturing your career experience to date, looking at the skills you have, and identify whether you need to fill gaps or stretch yourself to a new level in order to go for the position you aspire to. The phase two, which is planning, um, is going to be having, because you've looked at yourself previously in the phase one, you then look at how this integrates with the working world, where they are hiring, what the career path might be, what sort of company you would be in. And the final stage, um, which is action, the career center works with you through coaching, workshops, individual customized plan to develop a career strategy build your professional network, they will also hold events to help you understand and meet the world of executive recruitment consultant. So it's really much about practical workshop um, in order for you to develop your personal brand um, even through the social media as well. So this is what the Career Center will assist you with. Now in terms of the Sloan profile, so you have a, a snapshot of the 2015 Sloan class here. And you will see that it's a very small class compared to other classes because there are only 56 students. The range of years of work experience goes from 10 to 37 years. And the average years of work experience is 18. Average age 42 years old, 21 person women, and 25 countries are represented. So this is highly international cohort. In relation to the functions breakdown, we notice a wide variety of um, different functions from IT, legal, HR, consulting, but half of the cohort is usually from general management function. So in the previous slide, we saw that 25 countries are represented this year. And here you have the breakdown of these countries and region the 2015 Sloan Fellows are coming from. You can see that all continents are represented. And the great diversity of background, industries, nationalities, and cultures really give you the breadth of perspectives necessary to understand business culture across the globe. And the interaction between the diverse classmates in this program is really what makes the learning environment so powerful. You will have networks, friends, connection in multiple countries, multiple industries to connect with wherever your career takes you.
And I think that's really the strength of the slow-not LBS. So it's always better to put, you know, a, a face on names and on, you know, all these stats and data. So I just collected um, four fellows um, example for you. Um, there are currently Sloan um, students and, you know, as people grow in their career, they get less exposure to new perspectives and understanding of different sectors, cultures and jobs. So I thought by taking you through, you know, the experience of these four people, it would give you an idea of the diversity of the cohort. So we have Francesca first. She's Italian and director of BNP Paribas in Italy, senior professional with extensive experience in the investment banking sector and her expertise in business valuation, corporate and acquisition finance um, would be very valuable to learn from. We also have David. David is Lebanese, CEO of an automotive um, company in Saudi Arabia. And his expertise um, is in sales, marketing, customer service in the automotive, insurance and medical equipment sectors. So he has a broad exposure across the Middle East and Turkey. Then we have Udayan. Udayan is Indian, vice president of JP Morgan. He's also an entrepreneur and senior technology professional with a passion for strategic innovation. Finally, here on the right hand side of that slide, you have Kitty. She's Chinese and British uh, president of the Asia um, branch of the American Eagle Outfitters. So a executive officer of a US listed retailer. Um, if you wanted to know about launching an iconic Western brands in greater China and Asia, she would definitely be an expert. So everyone on Sloan has something to contribute and are really open-minded and ready to learn from others. And I think you have a good understanding just looking at these four people, how diverse and multiple experience that cohort bring. So the Critical question, why the Sloan at LBS? So I gathered the, the, the answer onto one slide and I'm going to start with academic excellence. Our high standards attract the best faculty and students. If you are thinking about business school, London's academic excellence stands out. We are one of two schools awarded a five star research rating. Our programs are consistently highly ranked and our flagship MBA program is ranked second only to Harvard. The London experience, so we celebrate London as our primary home, a global hub and the getaway to the world. London itself is a vibrant, exciting city, a financial, cultural and sporting hub and a great place to bring your family to experience a year in one of the most cosmopolitan cities. Worldview, we offer truly global perspectives through our deeply international community. LBS is open to worldviews with our partnership schools, faculty and students from across the globe. We have faculty and students from over a hundred countries and I'm sure you would have noticed my accent um, and it's pretty much the case in the whole London Business School because 80% of the staff are actually foreigners and if we look at just who is sitting in this room, um, we have Paola who's from, where are you from Paola? Sri Lanka but I think she's based in Italy um, and she's been living in London for a few years. Then we have Elodie, she's French and she's been in London for four years now. And there's only Cindy <laughs> who is rep representing the UK here. So, um, and I'm French as well. So as you can see, we are four people and three quarter of us are actually international. Then going back to our slide, um, I haven't forgotten the thought leadership and our faculty are constantly awarded recognition for their thought leadership, speaking at Davis and academic conferences globally. Our researchers ensure that the latest business practice is reflected in the classroom. 
just to mention two of our professors who will shortly be issuing a book looking at the future of the workplace. So we have on the left corner of the patchwork, Andrew Scott. So he's deputy dean for degree programs. He's an economist who sits on the board of the UK regular, regulatory authority. Sorry, He advises countries on how to deal with trillion dollar debt. How, how everybody would like to know about that, certainly. And then we have Linda Gratton. She's one of the world's top 50 thinkers and author of the best-selling books, The Key and The Shift. She has been exploring the future of work from different perspectives and addresses the big issue of longevity and how we are facing the equivalent of the industrial revolution in Western economies. Finally, multiple learning. Everybody has a different way um, to learn things. And we really recognize that at London Business School by allowing you to really learn something from in different ways. So you will learn, obviously, from the faculty. There's a strong focus on study groups. But you will also have the opportunity to learn through computer simulation assessment, leadership programs, networking, speaker events, etc, etc. Now, it is about admission process and tips to really have a successful application for the Sloan program. So not only we are looking for great career track records with strong managerial experience, decision making, um, but your personal characteristics are keys to successful admission. We want to ensure a diverse group of talented, high potential achievers. So in terms of contributor, you should hold a position of responsibility and be a decision maker in your role. And this means that everybody in the room would have that expertise. So successful applicants typically have 10 to 25 years of relevant management and leadership experience. Key things being you're leading and you're a decision maker. International exposure, as you previously saw in the presentation, the Sloan attracts students from approximately 25 countries. We select students with an international outlook, you should demonstrate your ability to work with people from different backgrounds and cross-cultural teams, being adaptable and open-minded. Academic ability. The admission process adopts a holistic approach. We are looking at your academic record, any training you would have participated in, professional accreditation and standardized tests, which help us evaluate your academic capability and obviously enter your performance in the program. Intellectual curiosity. That's a bit of a gray area, as the box suggests. It's really about people who are questioning. And we like to hear about these people. It's example of times you've questioned, challenged, taken steps towards educating yourself, stretching, always learning. We really want to know about these times. And then self-awareness. We want self-aware students who recognize the advantage of collaborative learning and your impact on others. And finally, team skills. We place particular emphasis on working in teams you should demonstrate flexibility and respect for different approaches. You must be able to aid the development of your fellow students and contribute to the learning environment of the school. So the process is rigorous and pays close attention to each individual to ensure that there is a strong fit between your achievements and experience and your objectives. In terms of the documents required for the application, the fast track process has been developed because we appreciate the fact that Sloan applicants have many demands on their time. Therefore, the 
online application form, one reference and the essays give enough information to the admission committee to shortlist for interview. If this is successful, we work with each candidate individually to decide what is required to complete the process. So the essays sometimes look like a lot, but when was the last time that you reflected on yourself? Actually, most applicants really welcome the process because it's that time where you take a step back and you look at what you achieve and where you wish to go. And also to remind you that the last application deadline is this Monday, the 7th of September. So this is really your opportunity to build a strong application for the Sloan program in order to get into the next cohort of 2016. In terms of the tuition fees, so for next year, it's £56,125. Self-funded candidates do not have to pay all the tuition fees at once. There is a commitment fee of £5,000 and three installments, each due according to the fee schedule sent with the offer. The Prodigy Loan Scheme is an innovative lending option developed by Business School alumni for the business school market. So all our students have access to that scheme and the maximum loan size is the value of the tuition fees. For the ones relying heavily on financial aid and thinking of applying for Sloan 2017 onwards, so maybe in two or three years time, I would recommend you to apply as soon as possible within the, the previous year, meaning if you wish to apply for Sloan 2017, I would recommend you to lodge your application around March, April next year in order to benefit from our range of scholarships. Now is the time everyone, take that leap and make it happen. Success is really around the corner, so it's your uh, responsibility to make it happen. I hope this presentation has helped inform and inspire you about our exciting and unique Sloan program. I will take general questions that are interest to most of the participants and if you have very specific questions about your individual circumstances, we will direct you towards the CV review for individual in discussion. So I'm just going to take a few minutes to have a look at your question. Many questions have come through, so I just need to, to check which one would be the most relevant for everybody. Um, maybe the one, we got a question about references. So in the application process, in the document that we require here, um, you are requested to send two references. And someone is asking whether the reference from the current manager is required. And we are really happy to take references from previous managers or people in your peers network, people who are personal or professional recommenders. We do not really insist on having work reference for Sloan's as we understand that deciding to study a full-time program at this stage of your career is often a personal decision. So if it's a family business, a family member is also accepted as referee in this capacity. All right, we have a, an interesting question about the GMAT waiver. The GMAT waiver is always a bit of a gray area for everybody. In exceptional cases, the GMAT and GRE can be waived. We will consider GMAT waivers for candidates whose work experience, professional status or prior degree or training indicates a high level of analytical or quantitative ability. But please note that GMAT waivers are rare and only given to candidates with a suitable level of seniority. 
Requests for waivers will be considered after candidates have submitted their online application as part of the application review. So it's only when the admission committee decides on a candidate's elig eligibility that the GMAT waiver will be um, granted. So you need to go through the online application, the interview, and then we will let you know whether you're successful in getting a GMAT waiver. But we recognize that, especially for Sloan Fellows, um, because you have all that decision-making experience and you don't usually have that much time on your hand, um, JMAT waiver um, can be granted, provided that you have the right background as well. So just following on GMAT, um, there is no minimum score if you are required to take the GMAT, then it will be more a matter of looking at your quantitative score, um, making sure that you will be um, uh, performing in the Sloan program just in terms of the core courses like financial management or these kind of courses. But there's no minimum score. It's especially a good way for you to prepare to get into the program because most of our fellows haven't been back to school for many, many years. And studying for GMAT really helps you to get back to that study mode and being rigorous in terms of, you know, academic mindset. In terms of the English requirement, um, if you've been living or working in an English environment or even if you had a degree um, granted from you know a country which is English English speaking country, then you do not require um, to provide an English test. Um, again, we don't really have a minimum requirement for English. Um, we usually assess this during the interview because you will any Sloan fellows who get into uh, the program will have an interview, whether this is a phone interview, a face-to-face -face interview, or an alumni interview. And so obviously we will be able to assess your capacity in expressing yourself in, in English and also understanding someone speaking English. Um, someone is asking about the um, years of work experience, whether there's a specific um, cutoff in terms of how many years are required. We are very flexible. If you go back, I'm just going back to the slide that, yes, here you have the range of years of work experience of the current Sloan cohort. And you can see that it varies from 10 to 37 years. And it really depends about your own experience. We, as I said before, it's really going to be about the decision making to have minimum eight years, six to eight years. Again, it's really individual. So that's why it's really important to lodge an online application, to have a bit of a chat with our recruitment team to see whether you have the right experience, you have the right expectation of the program, and also the right um, aspiration in terms of what you wish to do with the program in terms of your career goals. So there's no yes or no kind of answer for that question. It's very much individual, but 11 years of decision-making experience is definitely a good fit for the program. We have a question about deferrals. Deferrals is a possibility, but we are trying to limit the cases, basically because in order to benefit from a deferral, you need to go through the whole application process. So you need to have lodged your online application, got through the interview process, and been offered a place. So someone who fulfilled all the admission requirements and have an offer, they then need to pay the 5,000 commitment fee in order to secure their place for the following cohort. So deferral are possible. The thing to consider with deferrals, Sloan program is a very intensive program in the way that it's a one-year full-time program 
and it's for senior executives. So we are aware that many things changes. And obviously, you know, someone who get, you know, a professional offer that they cannot turn down um, or have something unexpected happening in, you know, personal ground, obviously, deferral would be um, the way to go. But someone who is not sure whether they are convinced of, you know, doing the program um, and who wish to take some time, more time, um, if they've not been successful in getting scholarship, for instance, and are hoping to be considered in the following year, these would not really be a good um, reason to defer. Just taking the scholarship question, um, it's extremely competitive and deferring will not really increase your um, your chances to get a scholarship the following year. Every cohort is different and it's really hard to predict whether you would be successful in a different cohort. So there are many, many kind of reasons that would um, probably, uh, you know, push for a deferral, but we are extremely cautious in terms of what exactly is the reason and is this a good reason. But that's definitely something we considered and this is possible. All right. We have a question about final deadline for international student to apply for Sloan 2016. So that's next year. So our last um, application deadline is so Monday, the 7th of September. We are quite flexible with the application deadline because we operate a rolling basis. So when application comes through, we tend to assess it within you know, one to two weeks. You will know whether you are eligible for an interview and everything goes pretty quickly. The thing with international student to take into consideration is really the visa issue. And all the fellows are able to um, apply for their visa three months prior the the start of the program. So we um, we organize an early enrollment the 16th of December for that very much purpose. Is that international students are able to apply for their for their visa three months prior to December, which is mid September. So that really allow time to process the visa to get all the documents necessary um, in order to be successful. So this is really the only tricky question is the visa. It's not really the application because we are able to, we have a very quick turnover. Um, it really depends on whether you need the right to study in the UK or this is not really something of concern. Um, so we would say for international students, we usually say mid-September towards the end of September would really be the limit just because of the visa. So there was another question about the fast track option and how long it will take, the whole process will take, how long it will take to know about the interview. Um, obviously, this varies, but because we are towards the end of the recruitment process and we are really finalizing the class for next year, um, we are trying to be as quick as possible. So, um, usually in three weeks, I would say, um, you could have um, an outcome. So, we're trying to assess application within one or two weeks. Um, and then you would know whether you're eligible for the interview. The interview now we're trying to um, arrange phone interview, um, depending on where you're located. If you're not able to come to come on campus, and then you go your application go to the admission committee usually within the week. So um, this is pretty quick. We have a question about Sloan Alumni Network and whether this is um, of good size um, internationally. I don't actually have the exact number of how many Sloan alum we have. 
Um, but not only you would have access to the Sloan alumni, but more widely, you would have access to the whole LBS alumni around the world. And as I mentioned earlier, it's about 39,000 alumni over 150 countries. So we can pretty safely say that regardless of where you're located or where you wish to be, um, you will find a helping hand somewhere. That's really not of concern. And also, if you wish to get in touch with an alum, once you know your application is processed and you have an offer and you wish to know a little bit more about the program from an alumni point of view, then we can put you in touch with someone. We have a very interesting question about how the Sloan program would complement an earlier MBA degree. And actually most of our um, Sloan Fellows, I don't really have the figure in, in mind, but have already an MBA degree. And an MBA and a Sloan degree are obviously very different just because of the stage uh, of your career where you would have studied this kind of degree. So the MBA degree is obviously a more general management degree. So you would have had around five years of work experience. Uh, you're wishing to get the, you know, to take the next step up in your career. Um, and it's very much focused on like all the general kind of functions. So finance, economics, marketing, etc., etc., would have been studying. But the Sloan program is, as you know, very senior. And we usually say it's kind of like the last chance to do a business degree uh, per se, because it's one of the most senior program you will find worldwide. And it's really targeted to leadership and strategy. So the focus is really different. And the experience that you would have got from the MBA so after completing your MBA and implementing everything you've learned in the MBA stage and getting to the Sloan, the outcome would be very different. So we really developed your leadership style. Um, if you wish to take the step towards entrepreneurship, um, I think the outcome are very different from an MBA. And as I said, most of us Sloan fellows actually had MBA earlier. So it's a very good complement to an MBA degree and very different, meaning that people who come to the Sloan program but had in mind the MBA outcome are usually not successful for the Sloan because you need to understand that you the Sloan is really time for you to reflect on yourself know the strengths and weaknesses, it's a very different level from MBA. Oh, we had someone who actually had a look at the website or maybe the brochure and find out that we have a seven months option as well. So I, when looking at the structure of the program, so I said it was a 12 months program starting in January. But indeed, we recognize the fact that, you know, some people need to go back to the workforce um, more quickly than others um, and just have different aspiration as well. And so we do, um, we have in place that flexible option, which is you can graduate it only after seven months. So the way it works, if you look at that structure, you would complete the 10 core courses as someone doing the full year. But then in the elective side, you see that you can complete between five to eight electives. And this is for people who wish to benefit from the fast track uh, option. So people who wish to complete the program in seven months would only complete five electives. So it would be a very condensed kind of seven months and then you would be able to go back to the workforce or accept maybe a job offer that would have come through during the you know the earlier stage of your Sloan program. So you know that's the flexibility that we offer so either seven or twelve months. But just just so you know we don't actually have many uh, fellows who wish to leave after seven months because you have so many events and 
you know, things to benefit from while you are at London Business School that they usually tend to, you know, want to benefit from the most of it. So usually everybody does the 12 months, but the seven months is also an option. Well, the, the final question that we had, I kind of partly answer it. Um, it was about what is the minimum amount of managerial experience. So, as I said, it's it's not only managerial experience, but also really that level, that strategic level of decision making. So, we are looking at having eight to ten years of decision making experience. So, if you've been, you know, managing, but also directing and leading project uh, or wide, you know, team um, or resources or this kind of thing, and you've been the leader in that capacity, then highlight that in your application because that's very much what we're looking for. Eight to ten years of decision making experience is very much the, the benchmark. All right, so I think this is, um, there's no more question. Just giving you time if there's, oh, someone. Thank you. Um, so someone is asking if there's any possibility to travel for a few days between calls. Okay, so there are um, different cases. So, first of all, I would like to really um, emphasize the thing that the, the Sloan program is extremely intensive. This is a full-time program, and we usually say that during term one and two, you should not have any extra responsibilities in terms of, you know, having... Um, boardroom activities going on at the same time because you're really going to have to focus on your academic side of the Sloan program. This is going to be intense and you need to be prepared for it and aware of it. So traveling between courses, I mean, you would have the opportunity to travel between terms um, and the term, so term one is between January and March or April. Uh, let me just get the months right. January to March and then term to April to July. So you can see that you have a few weeks between the term to actually travel if you wish to do so. In terms of the week within a term, term one and two, the classes are being held between Monday to Thursday. It, prior to that, it used to be between Tuesday to Thursday, but that was really long hours during the day. And the feedback we got from the fellows was that it was just too much in terms of processing information. So now this, the week goes from Monday to Thursday. So, I mean, Technically, you could travel, depending on where you're talking about in terms of travel, from Thursday to Sunday. But just to bear in mind that you will have a lot, many, many study group assignments. And so you will need to meet with your fellow um, group student in order to get the assignment down. So again, I would only recommend travel are possible, but within term three, which is where you take your electives. And obviously, this is a lot more flexible and you decide the type of format that suits you, when it suits you to actually study. So then you have the opportunity to really schedule your, your agenda according to your need. All right, so I think this is the end of the question time. So I really wanted to, to thank you for attending this online session about the Sloan Master in Leadership and Strategy. If you fell asleep in the middle of the presentation or have some feedback, please do let us know as we are all about improvement. And for more personal discussion and CV review, don't forget to email us at sloan at london.edu. 
This session was recorded and we will send a follow-up email with a link to the recording uh, probably next week. So I look forward to reading your application, everyone, and see you soon. Bye.